Good morning guys and welcome to hopefully the last time that you will see us in this kitchen. We are flying out at 3 p.m. today. It's currently 12, 12, um, so we will need to get to the airport soon. We've had to get a coronavirus test, uh, which we did yesterday. So we are heading to Heathrow Airport 48 hours before our flight because we have to get a PCR test before we can even enter the airport. So we're on our way to do that now. We have made it to the Sofitel at Heathrow Airport. This is really weird, going to a hotel two days before travel to get our PCR test. Um, it's a bit of an awkward process. I'll try and explain more tomorrow once we have the results. That was pretty easy. We are now in like a meeting room at Sofitel Hotel with our PCR tests. In hand it is a spit test, so a little bit different. Um, I think on the actually on the screen behind us there's a video showing us how to do it, but I'm pretty sure I remember how to spit. Um, <laughs> 99 pounds each. Oh, I'm so pleased this isn't going up my nose again. You have to scan the barcode on the pad using the app. It is so technical and so advanced. I, take it, I can take this off now because- You're I'm doing a test. test. So you have to begin the test don't eat or drink or smoke, and then scan the barcode. So pleased with how easy that was. We are done, it is being sent off. They send them all off together at some point tonight. And we will get our results via the app tomorrow, I think before midday. So let's keep our fingers crossed. And the results, are as follows. I don't know if you can see that. Negative. Results are as follows. Like yeah. It's like a <laughs> game show. We got this little QR code, which I think you might have to use at the airport. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I think friends. it's all really new technical. Just our last little cuddles oh. before we say goodbye. It becomes harder every time leaving these. Hopefully it's only a month this time. Yeah. Which isn't too bad at all. Um, we won't tell you where we're going <gasps> because the travel day video, we're going to separate into two parts because we're very intrigued what flying is going to be like. Now we've flown Especially during in yeah, this time. We, we've it's flown crazy. during the pandemic numerous amounts of times. But now serious, you can only leave the country for work. And we have had a few comments um, from some of you guys about some of our videos regarding like leaving the country, UK, you're not allowed to leave unless it is work. We have made sure that it's not just YouTube that we're traveling for. We um, have commitments with a few businesses where we are traveling to with me recording videos for them for their websites and things like that, uh, improving their websites. It's actual work, not just sitting in front of the <laughs> camera talking rubbish, but we're very excited to take you along this journey. We've got certificates. We have contracts from our, do we call it employers? Employers, so we are fit to travel. You need the PCR test now. You need the fit to fly just to enter Heathrow Airport. So we're doing it very, very safely. I'm gonna say goodbye to you. I'm gonna miss them so much. I just can't wait. Oh, can I say? What? I was gonna say, I can't wait to get a tan. It's hot. Bye bye. See you later. See you later. We have made it to the deserted Heathrow Airport. Straight away, police cars behind me. Um, I presume they're checking everyone why they're leaving, making sure you've got a valid reason to leave. This feels crazy, the weather is terrible. Um, always a good thing when you're leaving the country that the weather's terrible, but leaving the dogs just gets harder and harder. Every time, mask on, hoping to check in okay, because I'll explain later, but our flight got canceled and we've been put onto another flight. It actually looks quite busy inside. So far it seems pretty similar to last time. We actually did fly from Terminal 5 when we flew to Albania. I am struggling to breathe in my mask though, but you can see some of the seats are out of use. There's hardly anyone checking in. Slightly busier walking through, but I think that was about it. I have never seen so few flights from the airport. There's about 10 for the whole day. This normally has hundreds, thousands. So first issue has arisen when you come in and you go to check in with your airline you're going to have to show them your pcr test which we have which was all good but the destination we're going to which we're not going to tell you yet apparently you need an onward ticket this might be a new thing but on their website the government website it says 
no one would ticket so we're going to have to book that and hope that it's a flexi ticket molly is literally doing it now we booked the flight back to the uk um, but we're hoping we can change that and go somewhere else if borders open we can continue to travel but we've literally got an hour to the flight goes and we haven't dropped our bags yet right, it's literally closing we're trying to get in now we've had to book two return flights qatar airways you have not been very helpful the website um crashed on us took our money and didn't give us a confirmation so we've had to rebook it with the ticket in desk that's literally so much money we've had to fork out and then i've got to apply for a refund but we're nearly checking in after all that getting the float and you'll have molly on the floor we're literally filling in a qatar airways covid pcr test consent form i don't even understand it what does it say that we've taken a PCR test. Yeah. Even though we've shown the PCR test. So you've got to fill this out and our flight board's in 45 minutes. Wow. I cannot tell you how stressed we are. It's 2.15, the flight leaves in 45 minutes. Obviously we're not gonna tell you where we're going. However, we wanted to see what the airport was like, but now we have to go through security and pray and hope we get there quickly. We are through, we just made it, but the airport is crazy. Everything is closed, apart from shops that are essential and duty free, so if you want a drink, duty free is the place to be. I don't really know if you can drink a bottle of alcohol out in the open, but it is the only place open. Heathrow is now a dry airport. I've never experienced this at any other point during the lockdown. You cannot get alcohol here, <laughs> which is devastating for us. You always want to drink before you go away. time ever we come to the airport late because we think it won't be busy oh my god we wouldn't even have had time for a beer anyway so that's a good thing Heathrow is a dry airport because I haven't missed out I don't know we've got like 20 minutes now we're literally running we've got some little train I didn't even know they had a train here um, B38 B48 B48 oh my god that is us all of us are getting ready to board they're literally calling us now. Matt's run. I think he stopped. Matt's run to WH Smith to quickly get a sign to eat and drink because we haven't had anything at all to eat and drink. WH Smith and Starbucks seems to be the only thing that's open, but I don't think you could actually get anything in Starbucks, especially here anyway. There seems to be uh, vending machines everywhere um, and things like that, but pretty much there has been nothing else available for us to get apart from going to news agents like WH Smith or a pharmacy like Boots. There you go. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cheers away. So as I mentioned the only thing open that was WH Smith we managed, we managed to get it. Just in time. We have some food. We have literally about five minutes before we board. You can tell I'm sweating but And we have two flights home. Yeah the uh, return ticket came through so we now have two return flight home. Who knows whether we're gonna get our money back. Hello. We have finally made it on this flight. I actually didn't think it was going to happen. Like I said earlier, we got here two hours before because we thought the airport would be empty. We'd done all our checks. We had all our paperwork. But one thing was thrown in the last minute and that is that you need a return flight. I don't know if that's a new law with everywhere at the moment. Maybe if you're not a citizen from that country, you need a return flight because they don't want you staying there during COVID. Um, but we made it. Two flights booked, hopefully we'll get one refunded. We now have a four hour trip to Doha. Isn't our end destination, you're not gonna know that. To show in this video what flying is like. We've already had, we had our refresher towels brought around so we can anti back, sit down, eat my boots meal deal. I'm so stressed, do not fly at the moment. We are almost ready to go, but they've actually given us a travel with confidence protective kit. So inside it has mask, gloves and sanitizer. This is the new way of travelling, or this is just travelling during a pandemic, but I actually really like that. Cheers. It may have been a dry Heathrow airport, but... I don't think it's non-alcoholic there. It is not a dry Qatar Airways. I wasn't actually too sure whether airlines would be serving alcohol at the moment. Um, as he throw, if Heathrow wasn't serving alcohol, I was almost certain that on the plane, Qatar Airways wouldn't be able to get it. I thought it would just be food. I think we've got dinner and breakfast coming. It's like every time you go away and get on a plane to an airport, it's like our tradition. You've got to have at least one beer. There are some huge positives in traveling at the minute. Firstly, the plane is pretty much, I would say probably 50% full. We have a whole 
four-seater row to ourselves, which is really, really nice. And also, you actually get a choice of meals like we never get before. We normally like no to go... No menu. Yeah, so there's no menu, um, so you can't actually know what you're going to get in advance. But normally you have to pre-book a vegetarian meal, but because there's hardly anyone on the plane, you don't have to now. So we've got... What did we get? We got a... Joe Fees. Vegetarian veg, shell frazy. A veg gel frazy, a dal curry and pakoras. It looks so so good, it smells unreal. Please ensure that you have all your personal belongings with you as you leave the aircraft. Also remember that smoking is only permitted in this evening. And we have made it to Doha International Airport, which complete contrast to Heathrow, everything here is open it looks as if it's not a dry airport imagine that doha isn't the dry airport heathrow is complete contrast right um but yeah traveling at the moment isn't easy I'll, it's not recommended unless for work of course only for work at the moment if you're traveling from the uk um but it was strange we expected there to be checks to ask why you're leaving none of that just have a lot of paperwork make sure you have an onward ticket and you get extra leg room, so there's, there's, there's positives out of the negatives. We'll see you tomorrow where you'll find out our final destination and we cannot wait.